Hello friends of 44F1, Pat Simons, Formula One's technical director, blamed Mercedes for the FIA's overkill aimed at reducing the kicks at the start of the 2022 season. Mercedes complained a lot after the 2022 Azerbaijan GP when Lewis Hamilton appeared to get out of his car with quite a bit of back pain. The FIA reacted by introducing a number of changes to the rules, including the establishment of a metric to limit car kicks. However, Simons believes that the teams should have tackled the problem themselves. I think the FIA had a bit of an overreaction after Baku. In Baku we saw the worst effects because one team tried something that didn't work and then made a lot of noise. If the FIA had not interfered, the problems would have been solved. Most teams now understand how to control the kinks. The phenomenon has surprised several teams even though it had already occurred when the first solo effect cars were introduced in the late 1970s and early 1980s. Simons also says he simply forgot about the problem after working on those cars during his F1 engineering career, but he thinks it could have been seen in the computer simulations. I have to admit that the problem was not on our radar, but it could have been recognized. We had the means to find out in advance because we were working with dynamic simulations. I should also have known because I used to work on the cars with ground effect. I had simply forgotten, but no doubt the quick has changed things. The teams had to solve that problem before working on their aerodynamics. The quick is are not purely an aerodynamic problem. There are also a lot of mechanics involved, the stiffness of the suspension, for example. Without the presence of the quick is, which was the team's big nightmare in 2022, will Mercedes make it back to the top of Formula One? This is 44F1. Enjoy the video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends.